one. United Church family. Uh, we are here with Gerald McGinley. Um, Tommy likes to affectionately call him Gerald the intern, uh, but he has been serving an internship uh, over the past semester uh, here at the church, uh, working with Tommy and uh, working with the youth, uh, doing, doing quite a few different things. And so his internship uh, is, uh, is ending. Uh, he's actually, this coming Sunday will be the last Sunday uh, that he's here with us. He's going to be moving on to do a paid internship at another church uh, in the area and get some exposure and some experience there. And so, um, so Gerald, uh, you've, you've kind of served uh, in a pretty, pretty strange time of our church during, during a pandemic. Uh, did you ever anticipate that being the case? No. No, it's, it's, been, it's been weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's been weird. Um, I want, to, I want to share a verse with you. Uh, this is our Wednesday night devotion, but it's also kind of going to serve as uh, kind of an exit interview uh, with Gerald, and, and I wanted to ask him a few questions uh, to relay to the church and the church family in relation to his experience uh, here at United and, and maybe what God has in store for him in the coming days. But I, I thought of this, um, this passage of Scripture, and, and it just seemed to fit uh, the occasion and, and the situation pretty well. Uh, it's found in Luke chapter 10, and uh, it, it's where Jesus sends out the 70. And, uh, and of course, you know, we know that, um, that there, those 70, some, some really extraordinary things happened uh, in the course of their ministry and their work. Uh, and they would come back uh, each, each event and would share uh, with the other disciples and with Jesus, kind of some of the things that happened. But, uh, but, but the real interesting part is how Jesus sent them out. Uh, in Luke chapter 10, verse 1, it says, After these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place where he himself would come. So Jesus was specifically sending them out to specific locations where he knew uh, that he was going to be coming at some point uh, or another. And so basically they were, uh, they were really kind of setting the stage uh, for what Jesus was going to do whenever he came onto the scene. And, uh, and so I kind of see uh, Gerald in, in that role somewhat. Um, you know, we're kind of sending him forth. He's, uh, he's spreading his wings, you might say. Um, and, and so Jesus says this to, as, as he's sending those disciples forth uh, to go and labor before him. 
He says, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye, therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves, carry neither purse nor script nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And so Jesus was sending them forth. And he, and he said, the laborers are few, but the harvest is huge. And I really feel like, um, Gerald, do you kind of feel like uh, maybe the Lord's sending you forth for, for a time that, that maybe you weren't even prepared for, but uh, during a pandemic, during uh, kind of a, a chaotic time, um, do, you, do you kind of feel like maybe God's leading you continually to, to pursue whatever he has in store for you? Uh, yeah, during this pandemic, it's kind of like been kind of crazy, but it's nice to have like uh, it was nice to have like time to myself to really like, sit down and study and like kind of see what kind of just talk to God and see what he has in store for me. Yeah. And, and you feel like God, you've had that time with God and God's definitely met you yeah. uh, through, through the course of that. That's 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 cool. Um, so um, wrote down a couple of questions here that, that I think uh, might help us to, to guide our conversation a little bit. But, um, you know, what? <laughs> so we've not been able to have church, right? And uh, just, just a few weeks uh, now uh, that we've been able to start church back up. And, and you were able to work a little bit before the pandemic hit. Uh, but, but what are some of the things that you've been able to do as an intern uh, even even in the middle of a pandemic, like what are some of the things that you were able to do with Tommy and, and some of the other churches in the community? Uh, so I've been able to, well, before the pandemic or, and everything started, I was able to uh, teach Sunday school a couple times when Tommy was out of town. And uh, I've been able to do stuff just like uh, events and stuff, not only with our church, but with uh, other churches around. And uh, I was able to do an online sermon for another church here in town during this pandemic and uh also i've been able to uh before the pandemic we started a a college ministry called 417 ministries and i was able to kind of help with that and uh, lead worship and stuff that we do there and so tried to stay busy (laughs) throughout this this pandemic and everything so so even even though we've not been able to have church um you, you've been pretty busy, haven't you? I mean, it's, there's been a lot of things and a lot of opportunities uh, yeah. that probably probably wouldn't even been possible had it not been for the pandemic. Right. And so, uh, so that's that's kind of neat to see how God's kind of even worked uh, through the course of that and uh, and give you some different exposure that that probably not very many people have been able to have. Um, and uh, so the the four one seven ministry can you uh, can you elaborate a little bit on uh, exactly what that is. It's it's college based, right? Yeah, it's a, col- it's a college ministry, and we meet every Sunday, and we always try to do something every week for that. Yeah, and so uh, it, at kind of at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, you guys were doing a lot of um, like Zoom meetings and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, we did Zoom meetings and everything. Like yeah, that. and so like how is uh, since the pandemic has has kind of. Uh, lessened and and when we've been able to do more like what kind of things have you guys been doing uh for the for the last few weeks uh we've doing been doing a lot of uh, worship bonfires so we just have a bonfire and just kind of hang out and then uh just sing worship together and just hang out and have a good time yeah that's, that's fellowship cool. as much as we and can. so uh, so just college college students uh in in the area affiliated with other churches yeah. have been able to come together and and even some that that aren't affiliated with churches I yeah. mean, some of those uh, students have been coming that's 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 a great great ministry and so i'm glad that you've been able to be a part of that and um so uh can you tell us uh girl what um like <laughs> I, I know this is kind of a really broad question right but uh, like, what have you learned? Like, like, what are you taking away uh, from from this internship, this experience, and, and this time uh, that you've had with God and with the United Church? Uh, a main thing that I've learned is that, uh, like, as much as you stay busy doing ministry and stuff like that, you have to have time uh, for yourself, and you have to have time to sit down and uh, build your relationship with God, not only teaching others, but also 
uh, teaching yourself, so to say. Yeah, and and that's man. It, it, the quicker you learn that in ministry, uh, the better off you'll be uh, because you'll always find yourself busy, right? Uh, there's there's never a time, regardless of what people may think. At times, uh, ministry is a is a really exhausting uh, kind yeah. of thing. I mean, you're you're always there's always a chance for you. Uh, and you just never know whenever that chance is yeah. going to come. So you always got to be ready. And so that's uh, that, that. So the more you're prepared internally and, and personally, uh, the better you're going to be able to minister. And, and, uh, and if you can't, um, I've always heard the, the saying, like, if you're not um, if you're not personally equipped, you're never going to be able to help somebody else. Yeah. And so the closer you are to God, the, the better you're going to be able to lead people to God. So so that's, that's great that, that you've kind of seen that um, and, 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 and certainly had, had that lesson <laughs> that, that you've learned through the course of this internship. And I'm sure you'll continue to learn that. Um, so. Uh, you're going to be going on, um, actually starting, uh, what, the day after um, Memorial Day. You're going yeah. to be starting a new internship, right, throughout, throughout the summer yeah. uh, with another church. Uh, and that's a paid internship that uh, you've had the opportunity that's, that's kind of availed itself. And I uh, didn't really know if that was going to happen. And, uh, and I'll, I'll just be honest with you, as a dad... Uh, I, w- I want you to stay here, you know, and, and I know this has been really hard for Sonia and I uh, through the course of this. And um, I, w- I was actually thinking of uh, the, um, during whenever I was like in seventh grade, maybe um, Papa Dennis, my, my dad, uh, we were it was just a it was a odd family time. And and uh, there was a lot of stuff going on in our, in our family. And, and I'll never forget. Dad gave me a little plaque. He had gone to summer camp. And he gave me a little plaque, and, and the plaque said this, um, if you love someone, uh, let them go, set them free. And if they return, it was meant to be. And, uh, and that's kind of why uh, I kind of feel right now. I, I feel like we're kind of setting you free, uh, you know, and, and, and wanting you to kind of go out and branch out. And, and I really want you to get those other experiences. Um, I realize I'm, I'm pretty limited on what I can give you. I uh, realize this church has been your entire life, you know, for, for the most part. And so for you to get some of those other experiences, I'm really glad God's opening those doors up to you. Um, but but what is your like as you're going to this new internship um, and, and then the possibility if if God opens the doors for college uh, and, and maybe maybe that opportunity to 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 go to college and and go to ministry school, um, like what are your expectations like like are you anxious are you excited are you nervous or all of those <laughs> uh yeah pretty much all all of the above yeah <laughs> yeah and um do you do you think there's something specific that you can get uh from from this new internship that you're you're hoping to maybe kind of uh put in your toolbox as as a as a tool to use in ministry uh, I'm just trying to, uh, just like, I get like, I know it's broad, but just learn more and, uh, just like going to a different church and being around different people and, uh, being around different, like administration and, uh, stuff mm-hmm. like that. I think that's going to be good for me. And also, uh, I'm going through the next internship with a pretty good friend of mine. And so I think that's going to really help to kind of ease those nerves and uh, have somebody to go through with go through it with yeah right right gotcha yeah and that's and that's good um one one of the things that you've done here um i know tommy uh whenever you guys first started the internship uh you went through a book what what was do you remember the name of that bible study or what what that was called i don't Okay. I don't, remember. Um, I don't, I don't remember either. <laughs> so, uh, but, but I know it was a Bible study. It was a kind of a book study, uh, that you guys had done together. Uh, was there something that you got from that, that particular study, um, that, that kind of helped you or that stood out to you through the, through the course of that, uh, that study that you guys did together? Uh, yeah. So the, the Bible study or the book that we did, it was just kind of like about like the church in general and uh there was a lot a lot in the book and <laughs> it covered a lot of stuff but uh something that i got out of it was kind of just like you have to realize 
that in the church, uh, like not everyone is perfect. Well, nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. And that there's, you're never going to have, uh, like, so to say, like the perfect church, like there's always going to be, uh, struggles and there's always going to be, uh, problems that you come upon. And that's one thing that I took out of that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, boy, that's so true. I mean, there's, there's no, there's no perfect scenario, uh, out there and, and you, you've learned that lesson all, all too well by being number one, by being my son. Uh, but, but, but more importantly than that, uh, just seeing, uh, you know, during, during the pandemic, I mean, you know, uh, that's not how you expected, you know, things no. to turn out. This is not how you expected the internship to be. It's not, uh, you know, it wasn't the plan, right? Uh, but but ministry is all about adjustments and 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 really uh, depending on God uh, to to help us through the uncertainties and uh, even the confusion of, yep. of ministry and church family and 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 ch uh, church people. So. Um, let me, let me ask you one other question, and, and we'll kind of try to close this thing out here a little bit. But um, uh, so is, is there anything uh, maybe that you would like to share uh, with the United Church family um, that, that you've been a part of your, your whole life? Um, is, is there something specific that you would like to say uh, to your church family and, and maybe kind of uh, some, some closing thoughts, um, you know, on this internship and maybe a verse and a thought that you had uh, in relation to that? Uh, so I just want to say thank you to everybody for uh, letting me, first of all, do this internship and uh, just uh, being such a support. And uh, you guys are a loving church and you always have been my entire life. And so I just want to say uh, thank you for the support and the love. And that's kind of sums it up, but uh, uh, I found one of my top verses that I, I really like this verse, and uh, so a lot of people think like uh, when you're called to the ministry, it means preaching or uh, doing that kind of stuff, but uh, I think personally that uh, everyone's called to, the, mm -hmm. to some type of ministry, uh, whether it be at their work or uh, in their social, in their friend group or whatever, and uh, so uh, my one of my favorite verses is the Great Commission, and it's uh, Matthew 28, uh, 19 through 20. And it says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And uh, I really like the end of that, uh, those two verses. And it says, even to the end of the age. God's with you. And uh, I think that's a big part of, uh, of evangelism and of uh, sharing the gospel is uh, no matter how hard it is mm -hmm. or uh, how tough things get, uh, God is always with you and he's always by your side. So. Right. And, and, um, and that's, man, I tell you, um, wouldn't want to do it without him, would you? No. Um, I, I wouldn't even want to think about uh, try, trying to do ministry or trying to do work without uh, knowing that God's right there at our side, and and as long as we're doing His will, then then He's gonna He's gonna open the doors and and um, hopefully um, you know prepare us for what He has in store for us in in the future. And and I really feel like as a, as a church, um, I hope the church feels this way. Um, I, I hope we as a church, uh, I hope the support never ends. Um, I hope we always, uh, you know, remember Gerald and, and remember uh, the, the, the call that God has placed upon his life. And uh, we, we're always there as a support, um, whether uh, whether your dad's the pastor here or not. I, I think this church and the people of, of this church have just been uh, extraordinarily supportive and, and encouraging. And and I know that that support's always going to be there. And so. Uh, so I hope, hope the church continues to pray uh, for, for the doors uh, to be open for Gerald and, and whatever, whatever God has in store for him uh, through this next internship, uh, college, and beyond uh, for, for whatever God has in store. So, uh, so I, I really want United Church to know uh, what a huge impact uh, that, that each one of you have had uh, on our family, uh, but, but 
in, in this moment, uh, what, what an impact that you've had on Gerald's life and uh, how, how that you've influenced him uh, to, to allow God to work and, and to use him in, in whatever ways he has in store. So, uh, Gerald, I, I want you to know mom and dad are proud of you, uh, first and foremost. And uh, we're excited for you, uh, but we are, uh, we are trusting God uh, to do extraordinary things for, for you and in you. And um, I just want you to know that uh, as you go forth, uh, it's kind of like here in Luke 10. Uh, the Lord uh, says, pray. Uh, pray the Lord of the harvest uh, that the laborers will be added. And, and so um, uh, just know that you're never alone and never forget that it's God's call that's, that's pushing you forward um, and, and His call alone. Uh, that will sustain you and help you in, in the coming days. And so I want to close this time out um, just, just having prayer with you. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do that. Father God, I, uh, I thank you for Gerald. I thank you, Lord, for his willingness uh, to, to listen and surrender and, and just uh, kind of be still and, and hear that still small voice that's speaking to him. And I pray, God, that you'll bless him as he goes forth to this next internship I pray, Lord, that you'll keep his heart sensitive. Uh, God, let his learning uh, abilities uh, just be wide open, that you can minister to him and that you can teach him the things that uh, he needs to be equipped with to not only benefit and help the church that he's working with, uh, but also, Lord, that uh, you might prepare him for future days and future ministry uh, in, in the labor and work of the Lord. Again, I just thank you, Lord, for the time that we've had uh, the privilege to work alongside of him here at United uh, over the last few months. I appreciate his work and his uh, determination and and his dedication. Uh, And I just pray, Lord, that you'll be with him as he keeps going forth doing uh, what you've called him to do. Lord, help us as a church family uh, be that support and that strength and uh, to be his home where he can always come back to. And we'll ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.